Shalom family. Let me see if I can get a picture of video real quick of the pollen that's on this guy's legs. He's doing his job. Uh -huh. He's just having a very good time on this African blue basil plant, which definitely needs harvesting today. Kind of started already. Harvesting some of the leaves and the um, flower heads. And we're also going to propagate from the cuttings. Um, I took a few notes, guys, um, on the wonderful qualities this plant has. It tastes quite well as well. It's really delicious. Um, so, as you guys can focus on the bees <laughs> pollinating. <laughs> And this is what you want to see. I'll just um, read off what I have, which this is probably not even scratching the surface of the many qualities that this plant does have. But I will throw this disclaimer out there. Make sure you consult your healthcare provider before you consume any plants, especially if you are taking prescription medications and even nowadays some over-the-counter medicines. But um, African blue basil, the leaves can provide vitamins A and C, full of antioxidants that boost the immune system, manganese to assist with protein digestion, slow with vitamin K to, to produce faster wound healing. The greens are also a good source of magnesium, magnesium, calcium, and iron. All parts of the flower leaves and stems are edible. You can use them as seasonings and soups and salads. And this plant, guys, it loves full sun but can tolerate some shade. Um, one thing to keep in mind, it is an invasive plant. So it's important to give it space so it can grow. Um, this plant started off very tiny. And it, as you can see, is taken over, which I do not mind because I love the taste of the leaves. Um, of course thoroughly wash them before you consume um, so when harvesting this because it does bring in pollinators and that's what you want not just for you know yourself which they will help pollinate the bees will and butterflies some will help pollinate your fruiting plants in your garden which is very important or else you will have to kind of self-pollinate yourself um, I'll look back to see if I've done a video on self-pollinating it's when you do not have a great supply of pollinators to come in and recently they're on the decrease so this is a blessing truly from the most high to see some bees here to help pollinate and you have plants like this like the African blue basil that will encourage your pollinators to come in so it provides food for them, and it's a win-win because the pollinators, when they get finished with this, they'll head over to like your squash plants, your watermelons, your pumpkins, anything that is fruiting, and they will pollinate it for you, um, which is important. So you're, you're looking out for yourself as well as the Most High's creation, which we are supposed to be one with, and we were created to have dominion and also care for his creation. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna quite do. I think I want to make some pesto, guys. I've been trying to search out some recipes. I never made African blue basil pesto before, but I've heard it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I can try to update you guys if I do decide to make it, but for now I'm going to wash it up and store it in the refrigerator, which it can last, you know, like one to three days, as in any other fresh herb that you get from the store it depends on how you store it but here we are and I'll let you guys know if I have success with propagating them from cuttings to put inside of the garden beds to help pollinate my fruiting plants all right guys hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe all praises to the most high yah Peace, love, and shalom.